just a tug, just a happy harbor tug. And he came from a line of tugboats fine and brave. But it seems that little toot simply didn't give a hoot. Though he tried to be good, he never could behave. <laughs> Yes, Little Toot just couldn't seem to behave himself. He wasn't really bad, but it just seemed he was always getting into trouble. You see, Little Toot was a tugboat, and a tugboat is supposed to pull the big ships around the harbor. That's what Little Toot's father did. His name was Big Toot, and when he blew his whistle, it sounded like this. But when Little Toot blew his whistle, it sounded like this. <laughs> ah, funny little whistle, wasn't it? But Little Toot didn't care. He went on his merry way, zipping around in the water, in and out among the big ocean liners, tooting his whistle and blowing round black smoke balls out of his smokestack. First the whistle, then a puff of smoke. Won't you ever grow up, Little Toot? Won't you ever grow up, Little Toot? When there's work to be done, all you think of is fun. Won't you ever? Well, as I said, Little Toot didn't really mean to be bad. And when he saw how hard Big Toot worked pulling the big ocean liners, he decided to help him. So, when he saw his father tugging away with a huge ship on the end of his rope, Little Toot scooted around and back of the big liner and started to push. But he pushed on the rudder by mistake. And when the rudder turned, of course the big liner turned too. And, well, you can imagine the rest. The big ship got completely out of control and went round and round in circles and ran right over Big Tooth, who went down under the waves and came up full of water, sputtering and gasping for breath. <laughs> and then the big ocean liner, still out of control, crashed into the docks and went right up on the land and stopped in the middle of a street. That is, after knocking down a couple of buildings. Fire engines came running and there was much excitement. Won't you ever grow up, little Toot? Won't you ever grow up, little Toot? When you get into trouble, you get into it double. Won't you ever grow up? that time, most of Little Toot's troubles were little ones. But now he was really in big trouble. For steering an ocean liner right up onto the street and through a couple of buildings was no joke. So the police boats came and took Little Toot away, out of the harbor and out into the big ocean, beyond the 12-mile limit. And they left him there, all alone, with instructions never to come back home. Out there in the ocean, beyond the sight of land, Little Toot spent a frightful night tossed about by the big waves while the light buoys and sounds in the night made eerie noises. And then a storm came up. And Little Toot was soaked all the way up to the top of his smokestack. Waves bigger than he was towered over him and crashed onto his head so that he sputtered and coughed with water. <laughs> But suddenly, the sky was lighted with a rocket, the signal of a ship in distress. Forgetting his own fears, Little Toot raced toward the spot where he saw the rocket. And in a flash of lightning, he saw a big ocean liner caught between two rocks. Little Toot believed he'd need help. And as he raced to the spot, he began puffing smoke balls out of his smokestack. Only he puffed them so that they spelled SOS in smoke in the sky. SOS means that someone is in trouble. Just as Little Toot had hoped, the other tugs back home in the harbor saw the smoke in the sky and knew something was wrong. They tried to get out to help, but the storm forced them back. Little Toot was the only hope now. So instead of bucking the waves as the big tugs had done, he skimmed along the top of them, bouncing from one to the other. When he reached the ocean liner, the captain of the ship threw a big rope to Little Toot. Then Little Toot started to pull. And pull. And pull. And 
he made it. The ocean liner was pulled free, and off Little Toot went to take it into the harbor. And the other tugs, who had seen the whole thing, set up a tremendous racket with their whistles. That was their sound of approval for Little Toot's daring rescue, and a welcome home to Little Toot, who had certainly proven himself worthy of being a full-fledged tugboat. <laughs> and incidentally made his father very proud of him, too. <laughs> well, it seems you've grown up, little toot. Toot, toot, you're a 